three, two, one. Good day everyone, Garage King here, and today I'm going to review the Autofix D1 Lite Automotive Scanner. It's powered by Autel, so if you're familiar with Autel products, you're gonna have no problem using this product. Let's take a little bit of a look in the box and see what we have. We have a reference guide, and as I mentioned, it is powered by Autel. The one thing that really got me on this scanner was just how thin it was. I've used some launch ones and they're pretty chunky, some other brands, and this one was pretty thin, but it's kind of impressive. It doesn't really take up a lot of space. So anyway, it was something different for me. Now another first was the Bluetooth adapter for your OBD2. It's got a nice light so you won't have any problems finding that connector under the dash. Here you have a cable here, it's USB-C, and then you have your USB-C to regular USB charging cable and it does come with the brick so you'll have no problems charging your scanner. Now here it is, seven inch screen. It says it's got the Bluetooth for the VCI connection, 58 milliamp hour battery, multilingual support, and it's grease and water resistant. Don't see that on too many scanners. So it says here you can read, write codes. It's got AutoVIN technology, supports battery diagnosis, but you have to purchase separately a battery tester, steering angle sensor, re uh, register reset battery, perform forced regen, electronic parking brake control, and reset your oil. Oil. Now, I think the box should promote that it's a bi-directional scanner because it's selling itself short in that regards. However, if you go on the website, you can see it is bi-directional with a lot of capabilities. Setup was pretty easy. And as you can see on the top, there's the USB charging port and a regular USB port, as well as an additional port for a micro SD card for expansion. Now, the one thing you have to know is you do have to connect it to the internet for the first time and you have to create an account, at least I did. You do get two years of free updates, so that's good, no issues with that. One of the things I found that was really interesting for this is once I powered it up, just like my iPhone, I was able to drag all of the apps over to a main screen. So you can see here, I'm just holding the app just like I would on my regular phone, and I can drag it over because for me, I thought, why have two screens if I can have everything on one screen and fit it all? Now, if we keep moving along here, we're gonna do the best part. We're gonna take off the plastic and we're gonna test it in real life. So here you can see I'm waving the light around. Now, many people may think this is not a big deal, but you know what? It actually helps in dark places. So I, I found that it's a useful feature, especially if you're looking for that OBD2 port in the dark. So here we have an Audi Q3 and it does say service due. Now I've already completed the service and what I wanna do is I wanna test the scanner to see if I'm going to be able to reset the service. Plus, let me see if I can change some things around. So here we go, we can go into the oil here. We're gonna have to flip through it. I'm speeding the video up just a little bit here. Uh, there we go, Audi right there. So now we're going to connect and let's see what comes up in the menu. So here we go, hopefully you can see it. I'm gonna do interval service reset here in this test, uh, the flexible service interval can be reset. So we're gonna try it. It does say it was successfully reset just by clicking on that. So you know what, let's see if it is. Shut the engine off. And yes, it is. It doesn't say service due anymore. Okay, so we were able to reset it. But for example, what if you want to say, change your maintenance intervals? Let's try this. It says one or two here and there you go. So you we can actually personalize our maintenance schedule a little bit. And then here, if we go into this other menu here, we can dig a little deeper and do a little bit more customization if we want. So I quickly learned that this scanner is more than meets the eye. It's not just a simple code reader with some reset functions. You, you can get in there a little bit. So now here is the screen that shows a bunch of hot functions. And if you notice even odometers down on there, we got steering angle, we got TPMS, we just have a ton of stuff. And I'll let you pause the video if you want, but there's the hot buttons uh, that came up for me anyway when I was using it on this Audi Q3. So now if we go here, let's try to do auto scan and see what happens. So we're just gonna check for codes. It's gonna do a complete scan. Now, if you're wondering, this is four times the video. So we're just speeding it up a little bit here just so we don't have to waste everybody's time. And you can see we do have some faults. So engine control, let's see what is the problem. So trouble codes, and we are going to see we have a few things. So we got intake manifold runner position, uh, a little EVAP, and we got knock sensor uh, low input. So let's just try to erase them for now. Let's see how well it erases the codes. And there you can see our check engine lights on. Now let's go through the proper steps. We got to 
shut the engine off, but make sure that our ignition switch is on and we are going to erase them. So ignition on and engine off, yes. So we wanna clear them, yes. So let's let the machine do its work. It says no codes. Well, let's verify that. Let's just start it up and see if our check engine light's off. There we go, we started the car. No more check engine light. Now it's probably gonna come back because I didn't fix it, but I just wanted to see if it would actually clear the code and it, and it did. We, we can see here, I'm just showing you very briefly the graphing. I found the graphing was really good. And if we go into active tests here, here's your bi-directional capabilities. And you can see there's actually quite a bit here. Let's see if I can pull up a menu here. Here's the fan output control. And I'll be quiet for a second, just so you'll be able to hear the fan come off or shut off. And there you go. You should have been able to hear the fan shut off. So here's the menu of the active controls. I'll let you pause and zoom if you wish. But keep in mind, we are just in the ECM. There's my intake manifold flap. Let's do a check and see if it actually works. Because if you remember from earlier, we did have a code. So it's running the test and it says on, off, on, off. But to be honest, I'm not an audio technician, so I don't know if it's still mal malfunctioning. So I'll probably have to do some more research on that one, just being 100% honest. Now, here's the interesting thing. We were in the ECM, so there's other things we can go into, other computers, other modules. But what I wanna do first is I wanna see if I can clear the rest of them. So here you can see we had an air conditioning code. So we can go into trouble codes here, see what it is. And this is a right temperature flap positioning motor. So let's clear this one. Engine on, or sorry, engine off, key on. That's what we want. It said it just cleared it, so that's great. And now we're gonna go back. We're gonna press escape. We're gonna go back again. And I think there was one more, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was, there we go, driver's door. Whoops, I'm going to the bottom. Here, let's scroll back up to the top and we'll find it there. There we go, driver's door electronics. So let's see exactly what the problem is here. And let's see, read trouble codes. And the auto fix is telling us it's the heated outside mirrors. Okay, so let's clear that for now. Ignition on, engine off, we're gonna clear it. And now we should have no trouble codes in the entire system. So let's escape and let's sort of just run a quick check again. And everything is a pass. Yeah, so no red, so that's good. So everything is a pass. So now we'll exit. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go into the control units here. So now we can go into the separate control units. Here you can see, again, I, I don't wanna take too much time, so you can pause the video if you wish. These are all the different control modules and you can get into a whole bunch of different activation tests and use the bi-directional features of the scanner. For example, if we go into right here, we can check the doors. So let's check the door locks. All right, so those are working all right. Now, what we can do is check our mirrors. And you can see the R moving, the R doing a test, so our power mirrors are working fine. Now, what we can do is fold them in. So that's pretty cool, we're in the body train control module. Now, let's do another test here, window. There you can see, brought the window down. Here's our air conditioning. Now this is kind of interesting. I'll see what I can do with the air conditioning system. It says display segment test, and there you have it. That's new to me today. There is the segment test for the Audi. And we can even go into our ABS. Take a listen to this. So that's our ABS hydraulic pump. We can turn lights on and off. There you go, you can see it's flashing and now it is not flashing. And we can do that with different lights, not just that one in particular, but there's the park light, there's other lights, but I don't wanna bore you with this video, and just test light after light. So what were my thoughts on this thing? I thought it was very easy to use and easy to set up, which was nice. And here you can see the menu is very easy to use. Sorry about the touch screen there, just a little bit on the sensitive side. You can see how you can just drill down into different vehicles and get into sub menu. So I just found it very easy. And the other thing is the price for what you get with the bi-directional features, I thought is great. So for just over $300, you're getting a lot. It's actually a very, very powerful scanner for what you do get. Anyway, that was the review. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know. That's all for now. Garage King over and out.